What is going on everybody? This is Mike and Dirk with Terrible Gaming and today we are talking about Destiny 2's beta. Uh, we both have had a chance to actually play it now. Uh, we played through the first, I, I guess technically it's it's like two missions in the beginning, I would say. Would you say, Dirk? So I think it's like two. Well, I'm, two two it's, separate it seems things. like one. Just yeah. broken into two parts. Yeah, okay. So we'll say the first story mission. Um, and so we got our first uh, like glimpse at what Destiny 2 is going to be like. Uh, Kind of went through and looked at all the different uh, weapons and all the different abilities and stuff like that. It starts you out at uh, level 20 with 200 light. So you have a pretty broad range of uh, like your skills that you have. Um, and also it starts you off with quite a bit of weapons, which is nice as well. Uh, I think you start off with like three of each and then two are, yeah, three, three kinetic, three energy and two heavy, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which so wh how did you how did you feel about the the weapons or the weapons handled? How the actual like uh, the mechanics of firing the weapons and you know all that kind of stuff. How did you feel that that went? Uh, mechanically, I thought it went really well. It's the, your good old fashioned Destiny gunplay, which is like the best I think there is. Um, the individual weapons, I tried. To, I think I used every single one. I started off with the Titan class. Just because I really wanted to see how the Sentinel Captain America looked in work. Yeah, me, uh, me too. Which, that was the that was immediately what I went to. I, I'm a I'm a sucker yeah. for the Titan. Oh I, yeah, I knew you were gonna do that automatically. Yeah, and also I'm a huge Captain America fan, so that like that that was just a yeah. double whammy. I was like, there's no way I cannot <laughs> pick the Titan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but overall, I think the weapons work really well. Um, there's definitely ranges in play regarding effectiveness and distance with the weapons like the auto rifle and the submachine gun the default one the auto rifle i think is like the nightshade or something like that um that it, it kind of seemed almost smg like and the smgs seemed like they're obviously are designed for up close work like i know we knew we knew that going into it but wow you can definitely tell and even with the hand cannon there's a bit of a drop off on it. yeah um that, so that... i think that's good but it's just kind of hard to jump you know and it's really nice that they gave us literally every type of weapon to start off with mm -hmm. to kind of test things out uh grenade launcher i did not know how to use that correctly like i uh, just i i loved the grenade launcher personally i was uh i thought it was cool i just didn't seem like i was doing i just didn't know how to use it correctly like i would try it on single targets and seem like i got uh, okay damage and then i'd use it on the group and i seemed like i got more damage so i'm not really sure yeah, well, one thing I found really interesting about uh, the the way that the weapons were laid out was that I think shotgun was in with with the grenade launcher, wasn't it? And heavy weapon. Yeah, it's considered a power or a heavy weapon now. Yeah, which is which is really interesting, but it's going to be really nice for PvP. Oh yeah, for sure. Because you're um, not going to. I mean, if you if you use a shotgun, great, but it's it's not going to be your go to secondary where you can just run and shoddy everybody. Yeah, you definitely need some gun skill. Um, so I think being able to combine like a long range, like a scout rifle or pulse rifle with a submachine gun, I think is a really handy thing and nice to have. Yeah. One other nice thing I like is having the ability, like for the Titan, the wall. Yeah. Using yeah. using that half wall to hide behind it, it immediately reloads your ammo. Combining that with using Sweet Business, the Titan exotic, I, I, I blew through my ammo, like all of it. No, no prop. Just mowing guys down. Yeah, the uh, it did take me a little while to figure out how to uh, put up that shield because I I was not aware that it was holding down B. So like, oh. there was a while there where I was like, okay, I hit every button I could think of, and I can't figure out how to use this ability. <laughs> and then uh, and then it was like hold B, and so I held B and I did it the first time, and then I ended up forgetting, and I was and I thought it was double tap B. Then I was just running around teabagging everything, and I was like, "Nope, <laughs> this isn't working." Assert um, your dominance. Yeah, and so, uh, but yeah, the the wall really cool. Um, I think that's gonna, yeah. especially with how much you you float when you jump. Uh, it's it's really nice because you can kind of float over the wall and use your double jump, and then you can just you know rain havoc down on people, and then you can just land, reload, do it all over again. You, you know, rain your havoc down and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about that exotic. Uh, are all the are the exotics different for each class? Because I, I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they are. Okay, because yeah, the the exotic that that we had with the Titan, what was it called? The uh... Sweet Dreams, or Sweet No Sweet Business. I'm sorry. Sweet Business. Yeah, um, yeah, that thing was ridiculous. It was a a mini gun essentially. Yeah, and it was that a primary. Did... Yeah, they just fired faster the longer you fired it. So it would be really handy for PvP, like, you know, pre-firing around corners. Obviously really good can to combine with that the shield, especially the half shield the Titan yeah. gets, mm -hmm. and just suppress and suppressing fire for days. Yeah, the um, uh the that thing melted some yeah. some of the bigger bosses. Like absolutely melted them. Yeah. Like I mean uh, there's a couple of those uh those ultras that were just their health bar just plummeted. Yeah, big time. Um, which was um, which was really fun. I really I really enjoyed the the power aspect of that, and it also didn't make it too easy either, which was nice. Yeah, yeah that was one thing I actually want to mention. I kind of felt underwhelmed regarding the power of the weapons, but I don't think it was. I was just underwhelmed because I'm so used to being so OP in things. Yeah. That I think, and probably because this is a beta and we're not max light level, I'm sure. Um, so, not to mention we haven't actually had a chance to actually go out and find weapons that we like. It was yeah, kind of exactly. like we just get what they tell us we get. Yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of holding out judgment on like auto rifles and submachine guns. I think they're really cool with how they're using them. I just want to find other ones that I can kind of customize to my own setup. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the skills and the abilities and how they change the cooldowns and stuff like that? So, that is my. So for, for me that was my number one like letdown was the the skills that they that they had in place at least for the beta I can't say for sure that that's gonna be you know the final final game the way that the the skill tree is gonna look but I was super underwhelmed when I looked at the skill tree I was like oh this is this is all we get it's like yeah it's like three grenades that we've seen before they were all the exact same grenades as uh, Destiny one for the uh, Shield Titan. Uh, or the bubble shield. What, what was that class called? The Defender. Word of Dawn. The Defender. Defender Titan. Oh, the class. Yeah. Defender. Yeah. So they're all the same uh, grenades. It was like the the jump pattern seemed the same. Like I, I didn't go into detail on those ones. Uh, but yeah, it was like it was kind of like well, I, I would have I would have liked different grenades, like something just a little bit change of pace. Like nothing crazy. I don't want like a mini nuke when I throw it or anything. But like. Just something a little different would have been nice. Um, the cooldowns, I think, I, th I it was nice having the three abilities to kind of stagger your cooldowns. Uh, I felt like the shield came back really fast. Yeah, I really like that. that yeah, was very handy. I I did too, to a point, but I I almost think it came back too fast because it's it's a pretty powerful tool and it lasts a long time. So I, I don't want to see that end up being something where it's just like a safety net. You know, where you could just constantly just put up your shield and have cover everywhere. Like, it'd be, mm -hmm. it would almost be nice for me if if the cooldown didn't start until after the shield went down. And then once the shield went down, it was like a little bit longer of a cooldown. So that way, you don't... Because it almost felt like you put up the shield. By the time that it's that it's gone away, it's only like 30 seconds. And then you have another shield. So it didn't, it didn't feel like it was that long. Then again, I was in the moment of playing, so it's, man, it could have been longer than that. It could have been shorter. I don't know. Um, but it just felt like that came back a little a little too quick for me. But everything else seemed really nice. That ultimate, or whatever it's called, the supercharge, the uh, the ability with the shield, was so much fun, though. Just, yeah. just smashing people. And... Yeah. Uh, being able to throw it and have it ricochet off of people was so cool. And uh, but once, once you figured out how to do that, that was my other gripe too, was that there was no tutorial to it. I mean, which normally I wouldn't care that much, but in this case it was like there's so much new stuff that I was kind of like, well, it would be nice to at least get a tutorial on the new stuff. Um, so that way I could, you know, go in, go in swinging as opposed to... Uh, frantically trying to figure out how I do things when uh, when I'm going through but it, yeah. took, it took me a while to figure out how to throw the shield um, I must have used it three times before I actually threw it once um, but yeah once I did it, it was awesome um, also I didn't feel like the like the ability went on for too long or it was too short either the super I felt like it was like the nice 
happy medium. It didn't feel too overpowered, but it felt way more powerful than anything you could do with a weapon, which was nice. Yeah, yeah I thought they got the cooldown time, or the, the timer on how long that lasted pretty pretty well. It felt like I was able to clear out a wave or so of enemies and then be done, and then I'd have to go back to recharging my cooldown. Though, I think the the grenades and the super seemed a little long for the cooldowns for me, but then I'm sure that when we get start getting gear, we can spec into that stuff that's going to maybe help, you know, inc or decrease those cooldown timers. So, I'm not really worried about that. Um, yeah, the, the cooldown did seem really long for the supercharge. Yeah, it really did. I will say that, yeah. I was just like, come on, I really want to do this. Like, I really want to get that <laughs> yeah, shield out. And then the worst was, at one point, I switched over to the Striker Titan because I wanted to see if there's any new stuff. And uh, I was supercharged, and then I switched, and then I switched back, and it depleted everything. Like, everything was on cooldown from the beginning again. And I was like, gosh. But that was the other thing, too. I, I found it really weird that the other subclass was just the regular Striker Titan. Like, what? Why? That's the default. That's like the basic one. Yeah, but I kind of, I kind of figured that in the beta, like that there would be. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I, I don't know. It was just kind of like, I felt like it was just Destiny One again. Like, you know what I mean? Like, with as far as that subclass went, it was just kind of like, I, I'm, I'm at the point with the game where I'm like, I'm hoping that it's more than just Destiny One. Like, I'm hoping that it's not just like a rehash of Destiny One. I really liked a lot of the aspects of the beta, but I just get a little concerned with uh, with seeing too much of stuff that I've already seen in Destiny 1. Yeah, but at the same time, they can't just change everything. And it's like, well, you know that game you used to play? Well, it's the same, but all different. And on top of that, we have more stuff coming out. Well, I would, I would just hate to see it be like, remember that game you used to play? Well, this is the same one. No, like, that's true, too. You know what and I mean? That's true, too. But I think... I think that just from a, even just a story viewpoint, we had more content in the beta first mission than like the entire campaign of. Oh, yeah. the 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 cutscenes were great. The story was great. Um, the like real time events happening were awesome. Mm -hmm. Like when you see Cade Six and he's just like golden gunning and blowing people away. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Was awesome. The fact that you see civilians. Like, in just, like... But they look like real civilians, like, in a real place. Yeah. That was really cool. Uh, I really like that they kept the sweeping robot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, get out of here. I was like, don't... Why are you still here? He's just like... Run! It's like everything's destroyed and he's sweeping the same corner he's been sweeping for two years. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro. Bro, get out of here. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the cutscenes were great. The very end cutscene was fantastic. Yeah. That Great had, job. yeah, that was the best storytelling that we've had in Destiny ever. Yeah. Right there at the end, because it's just like, you felt the dread of like, well, your ghost just died, the light's gone, you can die now. And it's like... Uh, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't played it yet. Well, yeah. I mean, this whole thing is a spoiler alert, isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like, wow. Like, there's actual, like, depth to this game. Like, to mm -hmm. where it's just gonna, it's like, you actually feel like there's consequences to your actions. As opposed to in the first one where it's like, oh, I could die and I'm just gonna come back. All good. Now it kind of feels like, well, I better not die now, because, uh, who knows what's gonna happen if you die, because you don't have a ghost anymore, so it's like. No team wipe options. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. Everything is one of those, uh, those no respawn zones. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Forever. really, really, I don't know. I mean, we, we really don't know past that point, because that's where it kind of stops. So, I'm, I'm really curious on, on how that's going to play out in the rest of the story. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll get our light back and tell what we've got all of our abilities and stuff. I'm just excited to unlock the skill tree more and find out what new abilities they have hidden in there that we don't have access to. Yeah. To kind of see that and, and play that out. But... I'm, I'm really hoping that those skill trees uh, expand quite a bit before full destiny 2 game comes out because like i said eh. that was my that was my biggest pet peeve in the whole thing was just well i'm sure trees. there's more I, they just haven't locked yeah well I, that's what i'm saying i'm hoping that's the case oh yeah yeah no i'm sure that because man it would kind of suck if it was like well that's all you get 
you get some grenades you've seen before and uh, a couple of jumps and uh, you get a wall which is cool but I'm hoping that it's more than that <laughs> no titan skating no titan skating yeah when you could like manipulate the jump and oh yeah up you just would like look fly and hover across the ground really quickly that's out I tried that I mean you can kind of do it but not like before yeah but overall I would say that beta, the the first two or the first mission, uh, was was awesome. I yeah. mean, I mean, easy. This this beta so far has been at least an eight out of ten for me. Like, yeah, if everything stays the way, if everything follows suit in the same quality of work and everything else, and hopefully some length and or like some uh, longevity in the mission, some um, girth, if you will. Yeah, well, I think we've got that in this, but. <laughs> Uh, if we combine that with length, I think we're going to have a really good <laughs> game, and we're going to have something that's really going to leave us satisfied. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really excited to see some of the other uh, exotics. because Oh, always. Because that that one exotic, uh, the what was it what was it again? Something business? Uh, sweet business. Sweet business, yeah. Um, that was that was an awesome exotic, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't crazy, which is nice, because I kind of like that whole, uh, like, if it's an exotic, it doesn't have to be this completely ridiculous game-breaking gun. It mm -hmm. can just be something like just really cool. That was one of my favorite parts about uh, about the uh, what can I think of the name now? The revolver that we used to love a lot. Last word. The Off last move. word. The last word. That was what I liked about the last word because it didn't do like the only thing that did special was it could fire really fast. Like it was a gangster gun. That gun was ridiculous, especially in the beginning. Um, but I, I kind of like the, like... I like the way that they do the guns, like, as far as the exotic skill, where they don't have to be crazy. Like, Bad Juju was pretty crazy. Like, the way the gun looked and stuff, which was dude, cool. Red but, Death. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah dude. But, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that they, uh, as far as the exotics go, I'm hoping we do get some of the exotics from year one back. Yeah, me too. But not a bunch. No, nope, just a couple. Just a few. Like, maybe some survived the uh, the tower dying. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. But, I mean, I, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Yeah, I haven't played the strike yet. I haven't played any PvP. This is Me either. Just all based off the campaign, so definitely yeah. going to be jumping into it and playing some more, and then also trying to get the classes out, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try uh, the Warlock. I want to try out that uh, that Flaming Sword. Yeah. I think that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, the flame stick sounds pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, in the next uh, in the next few days, we're going to be trying out the... We'll be recording some of the PvP stuff. We'll do the strike. Um, and we'll, you know, kind of get a full review of the entire beta once we get those done. Because um, so far, it's just been just the story that we've done. Um, and so it's kind of like our little mini review. Uh, but we'll do like a full... We'll do get everything done more if you each piece individually and kind of give you a full synopsis of what we think of the of the beta. Um, but yeah, so we'll be looking out for that in the next couple days. Um, and if you uh, enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Uh, leave us some comments about like uh, any cool stuff that you might find that that maybe we didn't find because in the in the uh, alpha and the beta for the original Destiny, we like once they unlock like the moon. We found like the underground hive base and we lost our minds because we're like, what is this place? Oh, it was, yeah. It was like the greatest experience ever. So let us know if you have any of those kind of things where you just like find some crazy thing out in the, out in whatever, like in the strike or whatever. You find like a secret area or something. Let us know. I want to check it out before the beta is over. Heck yeah. Um, but yeah, and uh, subscribe to our channel uh, for more content, especially more Destiny 2 stuff. We have a lot of Destiny 2 coming up once the game is released and more beta stuff. So keep an eye out for all that. Uh, but until next time, I've been Mike, and that's been Dirk. We've been terrible gaming, and you have yourself a terrible day. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, click right here for our latest upload, or click right here for another episode. And click our channel icon in the middle to subscribe.